this is probably one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make in my YouTube career. Or my entire life, to be honest. Um, for those of you who don't know, my, um, you have known me as the Dragon Fist and you have known me as Mark. Um, and this video is going to be talking about what's been going on with me for the past couple weeks. Basically, um, I've been dealt a very, I don't want to say a very, a very bad hand, but I've been, um, I want to say, not betrayed necessarily, but, um, something akin to it, something, something akin to it, or like it, in case you guys don't know what that means. Um, but, um, I'm, I'm not going to go into too, min into too much detail, um, in order to maintain anonymity, but, um, for those of you, for those of you who, um, who have been following my channel for a while, you would know that I had a girlfriend. Um, her name was Abigail Crisanta, and for those of you who don't, and, well, <laughs> you, well, you guys don't know, but, um, due to a unfortunate circumstance, series of events that has transpired within the first two weeks, but in the first two weeks, within the next, within the last two weeks, um, Abigail and I are no longer together. Um, we almost made it a whole year, but unfortunately, it was not meant to be. And I mean, and I'm, and I mean, she has. I mean, that's not to say we didn't have any good times. I mean, we, we had lots of good times. We had loads of them. Like, going on dates, going to movies, going to going to family outings, stuff like that. But, I, I, but I mean, the last... Um, the last couple of weeks have really shed some light for me um, in terms of who I can trust. And... And I'm not saying that I couldn't trust Abigail before then, but I am saying that because of what transpired, I we are not we are no longer in contact at all. Although granted, we still have English together, but I am trying to I'm trying to stay as far away from her as I possibly can for fear of what she will do to me. Um. But but I mean, at the end of the day. Like a lot of, a lot of um, people say that the first relationship breakup is the hardest. And to be honest, that's that's really, it really is. I'm I'm trying to hold back my tears here, but I mean, I mean, I haven't. I've only spoken with the matter with with family members, and being able to express my voice like this is really where I can be able to express who I really am. I'm, a I'm able to express the passionate, the writing side, the, um, the supportive side. Basically, like, basically, um, I'm basically able to tell you guys who I really am. Um, and, and people say that the first relationship breakup is the hardest. Well, that was my first relationship I I've ever been in. And, and I know what you guys are thinking. A freshman in college, and I technically know a senior in. Well, we started dating when I was in high school, uh, my senior year, back in February of 2015 of this year, and we we broke up officially on um. It was it was someday last week. I don't really I don't really remember what day it was, and really I don't really I don't want to shed any light on it because I'm I'm too choked up about it, but. Um, basically, it's not like when, okay, so people say that when you break up for the first time, you're, you don't have any support, you barely have, I mean, sure, you've got support from your, from your family, and stuff like that, but the people that are close to the person that you broke up with, they don't want to hear anything from you anymore, and I actually got a taste of that, um, this afternoon, um, me and, me and, um, one of Abigail's friends, 
um, and a really, well, not a really close friend of mine, but somewhat close friend of mine who I've known since middle school, and I actually had a very intensive conversation, which ended a few minutes ago. And, um, I mean, she said goodbye, and so was Abigail. So, I mean, but getting back to the subject, it's not what... It's not like I don't have any support. I mean, I've got um, I've got God standing by my side. I've got my family, my my friends. I've got I've even got my dog who's laying over here on the couch. I mean, it's not like I'm alone in this. I I just it's it's just so hard, you know. And most importantly of all, well, most importantly to me. I have all of you guys, um, all of my viewers, all of my subscribers, all 56 of you at the time of this video is uploading, um, all, all my viewers who view my, who view my videos and who like my videos and who comment on them especially, um, really, th th those comments really make my day and, um, stuff like that, I mean, it's if if you guys can hear that, that's the phone ringing. But I'm not gonna answer it because I want to get this out of the way. But um, but I mean, like I said, this is this is possibly the hardest video I've ever had to make in my entire life, or possibly one of them, depending on ha depending on what'll happen next. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what um what's been going on with me. Um, but what I could really use right now is some support from you guys. Um, again, I'm not going to say what happened to maintain anonymity. That's, that's family business, really. But, um, but, but if I didn't tell you guys what, what happened at all, at all, if I just kept quiet about the whole thing, then that would be like, I don't really know what word to use. That would, that would just be a bad thing to do, really, and really, it, w it would be, it would be being dishonest, to be honest, um, but, uh, I just want to, just want to say thank you to all of you, thank you for supporting me, thank you for, thank you for supporting me with your likes, thank you for commenting on my videos, that really means a lot to me, to, um, to learn that, to learn that the very few of you who comment on my videos and who like them actually enjoy my videos, who actually, who, who private message me on YouTube, on, um, on Skype, on Steam, um, it, it's really beyond words, to be honest, but, it, um, it really, it's just amazing, you know, and, um, but, I mean, the, uh, the thing that I want to leave you guys with is that I is that even though this has knocked me down, this has not knocked me out. I'm gonna be like Rocky Balboa. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna stay standing until the final punch is thrown. The fight's not over until the final until the final punch is thrown. And as Paul says, keep fighting the good fight and keep running for the prize, which is Christ Jesus, which is Christ Jesus our Lord. Um, obviously, obviously, as of, as a result of what happened, what's been happening to me, to me in the last couple weeks, um, our relationship wasn't meant to last, but there will be others. The only question is whether or not those will last as well, but I do know this. I know that I have all of you guys there to support me, um, and I've got my family, I've got God on my side. If you're a believer in Christ, you have it. You have Him in you as well, supporting you, giving you strength, picking you back up when you fall down, um, giving you the endurance you need to last through the trials and temptations, and stuff like that. Um, and I mean, that really just showed me. This, this really just this was this was really just a 
lesson for me in what being in love actually fe- actually felt like and what um and what happens when you um uh I don't really want to say like stray away from the prize but I I mean Let's just say that she kind of got in the way with my relationship with God in a way. In, in, in a way, I mean, don't get don't get me wrong. I was still devoting time to him, but I wasn't devoting as much as I was before. And like, I mean, the point that the point that I'm trying to make here is that even though I've been knocked down by this, and even though I've been manipulated and tempted, good gosh, have I been tempted? Um. I have not given in, and I have not succumbed to, um, I have not succumbed to anything of dark nature or anything like that. Um, in case any of you guys are, in case any of you guys want, want, um, any information, um, well, not on the situation, but, like, on... If you guys like these videos, like the, like these life videos that I'm making, like this one, um, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below on this, and um, it would really mean a lot um, to me during this time. Thank you guys so much for listening. You're amazing, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Bye bye everybody. Dragon fist out. Have a great day. God bless.